Secondary Storage Media Primary memory is memory within the processor. It is here that the computer stores data that are in current use because the control unit does not have direct access to data that is stored anywhere outside the processor. However, the memory that is available in the processor is limited in size and volatile. What is needed is something that is less temporary in nature and that does not have the same restrictions as far as size is concerned. This will be storage outside the processor. It is called secondary storage. There are a number of different types of secondary storage that can be categorized according to means by which the data is stored, optically or magnetically. The technique used for storage of the data, sequential storage or direct access storage. The capacity of the medium, how much can be stored on it. Portability of the medium, can it be moved around easily. Access times to the data stored. 1. Magnetic tape. Magnetic tape is still widely used, particularly in the form of tape stream streamers. The big disadvantage of tape is that the access to the data stored is, by necessity, sequential which makes it largely unsuitable for most data handling applications because of the time necessary to find a particular item of data. However, large volumes of data can be held and the medium is freely transportable. These qualities make it valuable for producing backup copies of files stored on a computer system. 2. Magnetic floppy disk Floppy disks hold a relatively small amount of information. Most software is too large to be stored on a floppy disk, as are commercial files of data. However, a floppy disk is very portable, allowing for easy communication of data from one standalone computer to another. It is also readily available, almost all microcomputers having a floppy disk drive. It is also convenient for storing those files that are particularly confidential because the files cannot be broken into if they are being carried by the owner or locked away in a safe. Despite being direct, access times are slow because of the limited speed of rotation possible and the relatively crude nature of the read heads. 3. Magnetic hard disk Data is stored in the same way as on a floppy disk. The difference is being that the hard disk is made of a rigid material rather than a floppy plastic and it is contained in a sealed unit. These differences mean that the hard disk can rotate faster, the heads can get closer to the surface meaning that the storage density can be greater, consequently that the amount that can be stored is greater and that the access times are much faster. The hard drive is likely to be the main secondary storage for a computer system, having very large storage capacities. Although they can be portable, it is more likely that they will be fixed to the chassis of the machine because of the tolerances that they have to work to. For .cd-ROM A CD-ROM is different from the storage devices so far mentioned because it is not magnetic. A CD-ROM is an optical storage device using the reflection of a laser off a pitted surface to store information. Large quantities of data can be stored on the surface and it is completely portable from one machine to another. In addition, most computer systems can now be relied on to have a CD drive and a CD is not alterable by the user. For these reasons, manufacturers have tended to use CDs to produce software and large data files like encyclopedias. 5. CD Rewritable It is now possible to write to CDs by using a special peripheral device called a CD writer and a special CD, but it is important to remember that these are not CD-ROMs, which cannot be changed. They tend to be used for things like making a backup copy of files, or archiving for long-term storage. 6. Others there are many other types of secondary storage, two of which are worth a mention. Zip drives are a more robust version of a floppy disk, having a faster access speed and a greater capacity. They have become fairly popular for backing up work on microcomputers. DVD is a relatively new technology that will probably replace CD-ROM as it can store much larger quantities of data and allow access at high speed. For the purposes of the syllabus, the original four types of secondary storage are quite enough at this level.